السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ یا ربی لک الحمد کما یمباوی لی جلال وجہ کا و عظیم سلطانک اللہ ربنا لک الحمد بما خلقتنا و رزقتنا و ہدیتنا و فرشت عنا اللہ لک الحمد بال ایمان و لک الحمد بال اسلام ولک الحمد بالقرآن اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربی زدنا علم اللہم فقیحنا فی الدین اللہم انا نسالکا ریسپانسبلٹی we are going to cover and uh, i can see that uh, uh, attendance is uh, reducing and uh, i'm going to tell you that if you just miss few classes or even one or two classes then don't think that you're going to catch up easily so missing one class meaning a lot of uh, hard work on your part then so it's really hard to catch up then so inshallah let's start and uh, i hope that the people who are missing they are going to take benefit from the recording inshallah <clears throat> so what did we learn so far <clears throat> that uh, uh, in arabic there are three kinds of words right ism fail and harf and then whatever we talk about that was all about ism right and then ism we learned that ism has four properties and what are they status number gender and type and we are all talking about status only we didn't touch number gender and type yet so status and then uh, what is status <coughs> sorry status is basically <coughs> of three kinds <coughs> so status is basically of three kinds and what are they rafa nasab and jar right rafa stands for doer and what sound do we um, associate with it un or us right and for nasab <clears throat> we associate an and a sound and for jar we associate in or e sound right uh, and then <clears throat> for uh, status we also learned that uh, status we can figure it out two ways what are these two ways ending combination and ending sound, ending sound and ending combination. very good yes these are the two ways okay uh, when we say ending sound what does that mean ending sound means um un un in un un, un, un in. In. very good and basically that is related to singular uh, singularism right yeah. okay and ending combination are related to dual combination dual or, plural. or plural combination how many different kinds of combination do we know dual and uh, plural any 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 and una ina ina the yeah. only these two and uh, singular are, are feminine yeah, yeah. three combination and yeah three Masculine. combination one is dual so dual is bo- uh, for a uh, um masculine and feminine is the same right but when comes to plural then we have two different kinds of uh, combination 
una ina combination and atuna atin combination right so we need to remember that okay then we last class we learned about light version this muslimun chart that we have memorized can someone say muslimun chart um is it the the light version or the heavy version no no heavy version the regular version i can say it if you want mm-hmm. can i mm-hmm. yeah have it okay put the letter on here muslimun musliman muslimin muslimani muslimaini muslimaini muslimuna muslimina muslimina then uh, feminine is um, muslimatun muslimatan muslimatin muslimatani muslimataini muslimataini muslimatun muslimatin muslimatin very good alhamdulillah so this is a regular chart right and yes. then we have the light version and why do we need to make uh, or have a light version because grammatically sometimes we have to construct some fragment and uh, these fragment required that uh, we need to have a light version of ism and inshallah soon we are going to learn all these reason why sometimes an ism is light okay so mm-hmm. what was the light version who wanna say the light version other than saima i can do it Uh, go ahead sister what's Samira. your name okay go ahead samia muslimu muslima muslimu muslima muslimi yes, yes. muslima muslimi muslimi in the dua no not ma muslimai muslima first of all we need to make it a little long to differentiate between muslimu and muslima right so we need to make a little longer to differentiate between the singular and the dual right so muslima and then musli mai mai because what uh, what is happening noon is dropped over here right yeah. to make it light so meem and then we have to pronounce this ya as well so that would be musli mai muslimai okay and muslimai muslimai very good plural muslimu muslimi mm. muslimi very good alhamdulillah and then the feminine muslimatu muslimatu muslimata muslimati hmm muslimata muslimatai muslimatai mm-hmm. muslimatu muslimati muslimati perfect alhamdulillah okay so everyone is good that how to make it light right i just have one question yes. sister raha mm-hmm. when you hear the singular version and the masculine plural version you don't there's no difference so when you hear it only when you see it, there's a difference so we need to make it longer that's why i'm saying uh, over here i'm going to say muslimu and over here i'm going to say muslimu okay we are a little longer okay, okay yeah a little longer same is muslima and how we can differentiate from that muslima muslima okay okay, okay. so this is how we going to do it okay. okay now moving on so these are the topics when we talk about uh, status so in the study of uh, Uh, status of an ism these four topics are important and what are these topic uh, rafa nasab and jar right everyone is cool with rafa nasab and jar yes, yes sister and then how to tell status ending sound ending combination yes, alhamdulillah sir. we are good with yes. that right then light and heavy version alhamdulillah so now today our last topic about Uh, is some and that is going to be flexibility okay so what is flexibility basically this is what we are going to talk about today so flexibility can be of three kinds meaning an ism could be flexible in three ways Fle- uh, the ism can be flexible in three ways one is that uh, it is all flexible so 
hundred percent flexible. And the most of the words in Quran and Pak, you're gonna find them that they are completely flexible. Muhammadun, Muhammadan, Muhammadin, Masjidun, Masjidan, Masjidin. So all three status they are showing differently, right? So that is called uh, flexible, complete uh, flexible. And uh, we can understand this that uh, let's see, we go to some party, some get together. So you see a new face over there and you just greet to that person and you just ask, how are you? And that person opened up so much that he told the, all the history of the last 10 days or maybe the whole life of uh, himself or herself. So that means this person is very friendly, right? Easy going. So we can understand completely flexible word that they are very friendly. So we can mold them as we want. So that's why they are going to show all three uh, status in a different way. So Zaydun, Zaydan, Zaydin. Masjidun, Masjidan, Masjidin. Baytun, Baytan, Baytin. So these are all example of uh, fully flexible word. Then the opposite of fully flexible word is non-flexible. As the name is saying that some words are going to be, uh, they are not flexible at all. So example, we know our teenagers, right? You ask anything to them, what gonna you get from them? Who, huh, yes, not more than that, right? So the, this is the example we can remember with the non-flexible words. So they are very quiet, non-social with the adults, we can say, or with the parents. In their own company, they're all good, right? But especially in uh, uh, where they don't wanna be open up. So this is how our teenagers behave, right? So this is basically example we can remember non-flexible. Sorry to teenagers, if any teenager over there, even my two daughters are sitting, so I'm telling them <laughs> <laughs> be more flexible. <laughs> okay, yeah. number three. Number three, partly flexible. Partly flexible now, they are going to be in between. Okay, so sometimes they are going to show a little flexibility. Can't hear you. Can't hear. Connection problem. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you guys are able to hear me now? Yes. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Yes. yes. Okay. I need to share the screen again, right? It is sharing. Um, we see the old one, but yeah, okay. So we, that means I have to share. Okay, so you guys are able to see the screen now? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Yes, alhamdulillah. Okay. So, fully flexible word. These are the most of the words of Quran and Pak. So, they are going to show us all three different status. <laughs> non flexible is opposite of flexible. So, they are not going to show us any status. Only one way they are going to uh, look at, and that is example of uh, uh, Musa. Musa, Isa, right? So these kind of words or dunya. So even though it is uh, playing the role of Rafa, Nasab or Jar, 
they are going to look the same. Okay, so they are called non-flexible. Then the third one is partly flexible, meaning they are going to be in between. And uh, that means they are going to show a little flexibility and we are going to inshallah see all these in details now. So flexibility is not one of the four properties of an ism. So flexibility is not the uh, property of ism, we need to remember. Rather, it, it, it's a subtopic under status. This topic just like light and heavy deals with the different form the status uh, markers can take. Now the discussion of flexibility only pertains to the words that have ending sound and which is our singular and broken plural, right? So the broken plural also sound, uh, have a kind of ending sound, right? So that uh, flexibility is going, uh, going to relate it to these words only. So that means our pair and all these combination does not fall. And we are not going to worry about uh, flexibility when it comes to pair and plural. So only the singular and the broken plural. Now there are three forms of flexibility, as we said, fully flexible, partly flexible, and non-flexible. We need to kind of memorize these terms as well. So munsarif, munsarif mean, uh, you know, the serve for conjugation. So the munsarif is like when we do conjugation of something, like they are, again, they can, we can change them, right? So they are munsarif, meaning we can change them whatever way we want. Partly flexible, mamnu mina surf, meaning mamnu mean mana kar dena, right? So they kind of refuse to uh, show any flexibility to make any changes. And then non flexible, we can remember the word mabni. Mabni mean like it is fixed, it is not going to change. Mabni. So we will discuss partly flexible last because this is the hard topic. So let's see fully flexible word. And Alhamdulillah, we already kind of saw uh, uh, and memorize our Muslimun chart, right? So Muslimun chart, we can remember that this is fully flexible. So Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin, we can see that, okay, we have for Rafa, we have un sound, for Nasab, we have un sound, and for Jar, we have in sound. Right, so all three status it is showing when a word show all uh, three status in a different way, then it is a fully flexible word. Okay, then comes non flexible, and what is the word for non flexible? The Arabic term is mabni. So some words are going to be non-flexible. They are going to mabni, meaning they are not going to budge. They are not going to show us any changes. And how we are going to recognize this word? If a word, if an ism, and on alif maksura, what is alif maksura? Like when we say musa, so this musa sounds like alif, right? It sounds like, it, sh it should be written like that, Musa. But we are writing Musa like that, right? So this uh, Ya is basically called Alif Maksura, short Alif, because this is regular Alif, right? But this is kind of sounds like Alif, but it is short one. So that's why we call it Alif Maksura. Maksura means small. And then uh, uh, if the word is ending on Alif like Dunia, so dunya, the, this word is ending on alif. So if a word is ending on alif or alif maksura, then this is the indication that this word is non-flexible, mabni. It is not going to show us changes. It's rafa, nasab, and jar version all gonna be the same. So zakaria, even though if it is rafa, so it, it gonna be zakaria, zakaria, and zakaria all three status Zakaria. Dunya, Dunya, Dunya. Musa, Musa, Musa. Isa, 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 
right? So all different um, uh, like uh, status gonna look the same. And then there are uh, some words, they are called asmaul mosula. We see alladhi, alladhina, alladhi, all these words in quran -e Pak, right? They are called asmaul mosula. Why they are called asmaul mosula, inshallah? That is our later discussion. We will learn about them. But for right now, we need to know that these words are non-flexible. So they, if they are uh, playing the major uh, subject of the sentence, still allazi, if it is uh, having a jar status, still allazi, and a sub status, still allazi. Okay, same is allazina. So allazi is for singular. How we translate, we say the one who. Uh, I would encourage that we need to, even though we are going to talk about these uh, words later, but we need to memorize them because these words uh, happen in Quran -e Pak a lot. So we should uh, kind of increase our vocabulary, right? So Allah means the one who, and this is masculine and singular. And the plural version is Allah those who. Then Allah is feminine, again, the one who, but feminine. And Allati or Allavati or Allahi. These are the three versions. Allati and Allavati. I'm not sure Allah is used in Quran Pak or not, but these words are used, these first two. And that is basically the plural of Allati. Then we have Ma and Man. So Ma means whatever. If we are talking about something, we are going to say Ma, whatever. But if we are talking about some person, whoever, so this is, man is going to be used. And uh, this is for uh, both masculine and feminine. But man is for living thing and ma is for non-living thing. So these are a small mosula, always mabni, always non-flexible. Then we have a small ishara, pointer, like uh, in English, we have this, that, right? The same, uh, we have a small ishara in Arabic and we use the word hadha. Hadha means this. This is masculine and singular. And then zalika is uh, for, uh, this is near pointer. And uh, uh, zalika is the far pointer. And then hazihi is the feminine, same near. And tilka is the far and this is feminine man and then we have plural version haulai and ulaika we see all these words in quran -e Pak, and uh, they are all called asmaul ishara meaning pointer and these pointers are non-flexible words and then the other words as i said already uh, we can see musa musa is a non-flexible word right and uh, look at the example over here. If I say Nasara, Nasara means he helped, right? And Nasara Musa over here, Musa uh, is the doer over here. So Musa helped. Now Musa is not showing us Rafa version, Musa. But if I put instead of Musa, I wanna say Zaid help. So I would say Zaidun, Zaid help. So Zaid is showing me that this is Rafa version, but Musa is not showing me, right? So this is what uh, gonna happen. But inshallah, as we grow in our uh, grammar, uh, we are going to recognize that this is uh, Rafa version. In the next example, if I say Raitu, Raitu mean I saw. I saw who? I need uh, more detail, right? So I saw Musa, so Musa should be over here, uh, Nasa version. But uh, it's not showing because it's Rafa version was the same, right? But if I use the word Zaid, then it is going to show a Zaidan, I should say, right? So I saw, I saw who? Now detail, detail is Nasab. So that's why I'm gonna say Zaidan. I saw Zaidan and I saw Musa, and we can see that Zaidan is showing us uh, different status, but Musa is not. Then for Jar uh, example, Haza Kitabu Musa. Now uh, we know that book of Musa, 
now the book belong to musa right so musa should be jar in status but again musa is not showing us but if i put the word zaid over here then we can say haza uh, kitabu zaidin this is the book of zaid right so because zaid is fully flexible it it going to show us all three different status but musa is non flexible so it is not showing us but we know as a grammar student okay this is the um, uh, the musa in the first example is rafa in the second example it is nasab and in the third example it is jar uh, is everyone clear on this uh, concept i have a question yeah um so not all names are going to be unflexible right the not, all, not a name arab names inshallah soon we, uh, we are in the next slides i'm going to explain more about it so inshallah okay. hold your horses okay okay so next one now third category partly flexible so now this is the tricky one even though uh, what are most of the words are fully flexible so we should not be worry about partly flexible a lot because most of the words in quran e pak are fully flexible alhamdulillah okay and non flexible they are very easy to find out inshallah and then the uh, partly flexible yes they are little tricky but inshallah for our level we are going to keep it simple and easy and as we grow in our grammar as we grow in our uh, vocabulary inshallah that is going to become easy inshallah so partly flexible partly flexible are the words that can display their status in two ways fully flexible word how many different status it is going to show us three so all, all three non flexible three. words how many status three. it is going one. to show us one, one. two one. only one now partly flexible how many different status it is going to show two 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 okay so yusufu yusufa and yusufa never yusufi so yusuf name we can say yusufa when we want to make it rafa we can make it nasab yusufa sorry yusufu and yusufa but never yusufi if i want to say book of yusuf so i cannot say kitabu yusufi what should i say yusufa kitabu yusufa yusufa because uh, this uh, fa is for both for nasab and jar okay so jar and nasab are same for them so only two status it is going to show us then there is some exception what is the exception the good thing is uh, that uh, these uh, partly flexible word if we put al on them then they become fully flexible so for example now masjidun if i say the word masjidun it is fully flexible right i can say masjidun masjidan masjidin because this is arab word all arab words all arab names are fully flexible okay so all arab name and arab words are fully flexible so masjidun masjidan masjidin fully flexible but now if i want to make it dual no problem masjidan taini taini right when it comes to plural can i use masjiduna masjidina masjidin no no because this is not person right so then what gonna happen it is going to have irregular uh, plural and that is the word masajidu so masajidu masajida and masajida so it is gonna have two uh version only so masaji do and masajida these are the only two version it gonna have but if i wanna make uh, it specific i'm gonna put all on it 
then it is going to be uh, fully flexible. Now I can put even the cluster over here. Because what, what happened in partly flexible, basically partly flexible, we need to remember that they are not going to take the mean ever. This is one thing. So they never accept the mean. Secondly, partly flexible can never have kasra. Okay. So no tanmeen and no kasra, mm -hmm. not even a single kasra it is going to take. So these two things we need to remember about partly flexible. Right? But when we put al, then it is a different story. Now I can put kasra on it. I cannot put the mean uh, because there is al, right? But I can put kasra. Now it kind of it become a fully flexible word. Okay, so we need to remember that whenever we have all, then even the partly flexible becomes fully flexible. Now let's see some example or uh, like some markers, how we are going to identify um, partly flexible words. So one category we need to remember that uh, non-Arab names. So Arab names are fully flexible. Arab names or Arab words, okay? So they are fully flexible word, fully flex. So what would be the opposite? So that means non-Arab names are going to be partly flexible. And you know, in quran -e Park, only four names, four prophets names, they are uh, fully flexible. So they are Arab names basically. Muhammadun, Hudun, Swalihun, Shu'aibun. So they are Arab names. So they are Arab, uh, uh, not Arab prophet, I should say. These are Arab names. So these are fully flexible. Otherwise, we can, uh, we have so many other names of prophets in uh, Quran -e Pak, but they are non-flexible. Why? Because they are non-Arab names. So Yusufu, Yusufa, Yusufa, Ismailu, Ismaila, Ismaila, Ibrahimu, Ibrahima, Ibrahima. We can we never ever going to say Ibrahimi. That would be wrong. Yaqubu, Yaquba, Yaquba. So their version is Yaquba. Mariamu, Mariama, and Mariama. Never Mariami. Never ever. Why? Because they are non Arab names and they are partly flexible. Then we saw Muhammadun, Muhammadan, Muhammadin, Hudun, Hudan, Hudin, Swalihun, Swalihan, Swalihin, right? Fully flexible. Shu'aibun, Shu'aiban, and Shu'aibin. Fully flexible. Why? Because they are Arab names. Is everyone clear? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Then there is some exception. Some names, even though they are going to be non-Arab names, but if they are three root letter, like meaning if they have three letters and then the middle root letter has spoon on them, uh, uh, the middle root letter has spoon, then this word will become fully flexible. Subhanallah, <laughs> so many rules to remember, but inshallah that will become easy, okay? With the, uh, like dua, with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we need to make a lot of duas that whatever we are learning, Allah make us part of our hard disk so we don't forget it. So Lutun, Lutan, and Lutin, this is not Arab name. But since it has three root letter, lam, wow, and ta, and then wow has spoon, the middle root letter has spoon. 
So that makes it fully flexible. So now we can say lutein and it is taking tanmeen, subhanallah. We see that uh, in quran -e Park. Even the nu word, again, noon, vow, and ha, these are the three root letter. And then vow, the middle root letter is having skun. So now that makes it fully flexible. Nu hun, nu han, and nu hin. Alhamdulillah. Is clear? Yes, go ahead, sister. So we can take any fully flexible words and make them partly flexible by just taking the kiska away from them and not adding any tanwin. The partly flexible word cannot have kasra, right? Right. So if we want to make any partly flexible, uh, fully flexible, how we can do it? We can just put al and that okay. will become fully flexible then. And then to make it partly flexible, we just have to take no, the we, we, we cannot make uh, any fully flexible word, partly flexible. No, this is not our uh, space. We can okay. do that. Okay. Okay. okay, that is already set by uh, grammarian. This is already set by Arab. Okay, so we do not have any say over here that, okay, if some word is fully flexible, we can make it partly flexible. No, that is not the case. We are learning how to recognize them. Right, okay. so we are learning the rules, but we are not going to make any uh, uh, like a, a, a fully flexible word and let's say, oh, let's make it partly flexible. Why it is enjoying all these uh, flexibility, <laughs> right? We can do that. <laughs> Sister, okay. so one so, question, sorry. Yeah, this yeah. Hudun, hmm? Hudun, is, uh, Hudun is fully flexible, but that has a sukun and it's on wow. Hudun, yeah, so, just the above chart. Yeah, so who don't, yeah, that can go even in that category, but who is uh, Arabic name as well? Okay, so yeah, but that is fully flexible, yeah, yeah, this is fully flexible, yes, okay, but it can go also if it was non flexible, uh, sorry, if it was uh, non Arab name, still it can go in the category of fully flexible. Why? Because three root letter and middle root letter has gone. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. Yeah. As, as long like, I have a question. Uh, is the only these two letters are the, just like a Nuhun and Lutun. These are the um, uh, exception or uh, there's a, a more letter? No, I'm saying any word, any uh, non-Arab name, if it has three root letter, for example, in Quran e Pak, we see the word Adan, Ain, Dal, and Noon. Right? So, this is the name of a place, right? Adan is a garden. And uh, okay, okay. It's uh, only uh, any word that have a sukun in the middle, and uh, that is uh, it can exactly. be. Yeah. Okay, got it, got it. Thank yeah. you. Got any it. three letter word. Yeah, That's any three, three letter. yeah, exactly. Any three root letter, and then the middle one should have spoon. This is the rule. So, middle root letter will have a spoon, then we can make it fully flexible. So, adnun, adnan, and adnin, even though adan is a name of a place, right? So, and we will see that name of places is also uh, considered partly flexible. But over here, why? Because uh, it is three root letter. And uh, the middle one has gone, so it will become fully flexible. Okay, now moving on. All the ladies' names. Names of ladies, feminine names. Aisha tu, Aisha ta, Aisha ta, never Aisha ti. Okay, why? Because this is partly flexible. All ladies' names. Partly flexible. Khatija tu, Khatija ta, Khatija ta. Zainabu, Zainaba, Zainaba. Imanu, Imana, Imana. 
okay then we have uh, uh, another category hamza tu now this is lady's name or masculine name masculine, this is masculine, masculine name masculine. but it has tam or buta right and we learn that whenever we have tam or buta we consider that word as a feminine but this is not the case over here right because hamza is a, a masculine name so basically now we are learning that uh, some names they are very unique right so they are uniquely masculine and uh, they are going to consider as partly flexible so we say hamza tu hamza ta hamza ta never hamza ti okay even though i want to say uh, book of uh, hamza so i will say kitabu hamza ta not ti then we have an, another word muawiya again ending on tamarbuta so muawiya tu muawiya ta and muawiya ta then umar even though there is no ta over there but this pattern umuru so we say mm -hmm. umar right but actually umaru umara and umara so this is this name is also fall in the uniquely a masculine name then usmanu usmanu usmana and usmana never usmani so these are even though these are feminine names but they are uniquely masculine and uh, even though they are masculine names sorry i said feminine right so mm. they are going to consider a uh, partly flexible then uh, name of places name of places are going to consider as partly flexible makkatu makkata makkata never makkati yasribu yasriba yasriba never yasribi jahannamu jahannama jahannama never jahannami because this is a name of a place Uh, is that clear to everyone uh, okay. can i just ask you something sister please mm -hmm. uh the uh, you said usmanu usmana usmana mm -hmm. oh, we use the word usmani script how do we use that uh usmani oh, script mean the script of usman so basically script. this is um uh, uh, maybe it will have all on that or uh, has ya at the end yes so there is uh, i don't know how do we write that there should be look like uh, there is uh, some fragment going on it's not usmani it's not with the jar it's not with kasra there is something else going on i need to say how it is written and then i can explain okay mm -hmm. but uh, usman is a, a partly flexible word so it's never usmani okay sister just like a lot there right yeah i have i have one question sister mm -hmm. um uh, we are talking about the feminine names mm -hmm. and they are partly flexible though they are uh, arab names are these are not arab names all um, arab or non arab doesn't matter okay every feminine name is uh, non flexible regardless it is uh, yeah this is part of the part of the okay yeah this is not usmani is usmania sorry it's not usmani it's usmania when you say that uh, yeah uh, when we are speaking we are i think we are speaking differently but it is written differently right so usmania usmania yeah. yeah i think uh, it should be usmania like that usmania yeah, so is in urdu yeah. sultanate usmania so it's like comes in urdu language i think we'll mix up these words or maybe usmaniyun uh, you know this is called some uh, kind of nisbat jab humne deni hoti hai jaise hum kehte hain पाकिस्तानी तो उसके लिए हम कहते हैं पाकिस्तानी 
अरेबिक में पा तो नहीं होता लेटर तो बा होता है तो हम कहते हैं पाकिस्तान okay now um, even though some names we said that uh, name of places are going to be uh, partly flexible but uh, remember the rule of al so when we put al on uh, even though these uh, uh, places then they are going to become fully flexible so the example is given al iraq so we said that the name of places are party flexible but as soon as i put all over here now al iraqu al iraqa and al iraqi so now it is become a fully flexible al hindu al hinda al hindi and even the word uh, we said that uh, uh, the three root letter right that rule also apply over here so ha noon and dal right so, and noon has kun so now it makes it uh, fully flexible then we have ad noon ad nan and ad nin so same thing is happening over here the uh, dal has kun three root letter so now it is fully flexible so these are some exceptions now what is the summary what did we learn so far so we learn that there are three kinds of flexibility fully flexible and how we can remember what words are fully flexible muslim on chart and arab names and arab words okay all arab names all arab words fully flexible you do not have enough vocabulary at this point so you might struggle that okay how do i know this is fully flexible or not but uh, believe me as we grow in our vocabulary as we grow in our grammar inshallah that will come to you so no worries okay today's lesson is mostly i am talking a lot of information throwing on you but this is how uh, it is there is no other way so that's why uh, i have to go through like that so fully flexible and we need to remember that they are arab names or arab words non flexible words they end on alif maksura and what is alif maksura this al uh, alif maksura uh, which is you can remember the word musa isa okay and zakaria duniya so all these are example we need to remember these words they are going to be non flexible word and how many status they are going to show us only one oh. only one status they are going to show then comes partly flexible now partly flexible do not accept the neen do not accept kasra have two version nasab and jar are the same and uh, non arab names what comes in this category non arab names feminine names and uniquely masculine names like hamza and names of places like makkah they all fall into this category and there are some exceptions what are the exception that if we add al to the name of places it get exciting and become fully flexible non arab names if they are three root letters and the middle one has kun then this is fully flexible the example is nuhun adnun lutun and uh, the word adam what do you think about this word uh, is that a three root letter how many letters do you see here three or four four three letters four four, four. four. basically this long oh, yeah. alif this mad is count two there are two alif right and then are the moon the middle one does not have spoon right 
so that does not fall into this category so that's why adam is going to consider as non flexible adamu adama never adami okay partly flexible or you said you said fully flexible or partly flexible adamu ko na partly flexible right yeah got it is this yeah. adamun or adamu we can say adamu or adama but we can say adamun right mm, yeah. no because partly okay, flexible adama. are not going to accept the mean at all mm -hmm. okay this is we are saying this is partly flexible because adam is not arab name adam is not arab name subhanallah <laughs> <laughs> okay so Ad adam al islam was not arab arab came way after yeah okay so now these are the things uh, you guys can go through and... he was from sri lanka <laughs> because he was born in sri lanka oh mummy send down <laughs> yeah okay so inshallah let's do some practice now what do you think about the word rub what do you th uh, think is that fully flexible yeah fully flexible. fully flexible how, fully how, flexible. how, do, you, how do you know what's the reason because there's two bar there's two bar yeah, in the middle of the name two bars what does that mean rub yeah so two bars how it makes it fully flexible i think because it's arab's name the second bar is this is a arab word not arab yeah. name we not name arab, it word. arab word yeah it's arab an arab word, word yeah. and the, the the middle bar is should be sukun fill and the no it does not have sukun no okay if if you are saying rub bar like it's like that rub and ba no it's a ra ba ba yeah it, it's ra ba ba basically yeah. these are the root letter okay so basically this is we're going to say this is arab word we can say for now we can say this is a arab word so it could be rabun rabban rabbin fully flexible now yusufu we already did that right so that going to be easy what do you guys think partly flexibility part 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 and reason not arab, arab name non arab name non arab name so that's why yusufa and you, uh, yusufu yusufa never yusufu. ever yusufi that would be wrong okay never kasra Huda, what do you guys think? Not flexible. Not flexible. Not flexible. Not flexible. Because of yeah, masura. Okay, can we take turns? So then it is more clear in our recording. So huda, as we can see that it has alif maksura, so this is non-flexible, meaning it will remain all three stages: huda, huda, and huda. Right now, shuaib. we can take the uh, sorry it uh, what fully kind of flexible. fully yes so can you arab, say it? arab name shuaibun shuaiban shuaibin shuaibin very good alhamdulillah next one faiz arab name is uh, arab word faizun faizan faizun Yes, this is Arab word. So Faizun, Faizan, and Faizin. Next one, Shukur. Shakur. Can I do? Mm -hmm. Shukurun, Kuran, Kuran. What is Arab the reason? Arab word. Arab word. Arab word. Next one, Muhsinun. Can I do? Yeah, go ahead. Muhsinun, Muhsinan, Muhsinin. Very good. And when we say Muhsinan, what we need to do? 
How do no, no, no. how we are going to write? You put alif. No, no. Alif in front. Very good. So it should be muhsin and like that. Okay. Next one. Lut. Can I say? Lutan, 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 lutan. Very good. Why? Why it is fully flexible? The wow, so one in the middle with the three letter. Yes, even though this is non Arab name, but it is three root letter and middle one has two, so this is that makes it fully flexible. Now, Bushra, can I say it? Mm -hmm. This is Kausar. Uh, this is non flexible oh. because mm -hmm. it has Alif Maksura. Mm -hmm. Very good. Bushra, Bush. Ra, Bushra, Bushra, Bushra. Very good. Alhamdulillah. Next one, Nisa. Hmm? Non flexible. Nisa, Nisa, Nisa. Fully flexible. Okay. Because this is Arab word. So Nisa, Un, Nisa, An, and Nisa, In. So it is going to be fully flexible. Okay. Next one. Nar. Um, um, Arabic word. Yes, Arab word. So, Narun, Naran, and Narin. Next one, Mariam. It's not Arabic word. So, it's uh, okay. yeah. so Maria Mu and Maria Ma. Never Maria Me. Okay. And nev never Tan mean. Okay. Sorry, uh, Hal. Mm -hmm. Is there a list of like the words that we have to like learn to know which ones are Arab words and which ones are not? No, there is nothing, uh, no such thing. How we can make that list <laughs> Arab name? So that, we just learn it as we go? With, that would come with the vocabulary. We need to increase our vocabulary. And uh, as I said, that grammar is not going to work well uh, if you are lacking on Quran vocabulary. So we need to pick some surah and we need to start uh, having word to word uh, memorization of the uh, surah. That would help. We need to side by side because uh, one uh, lesson of grammar we are having in the whole week. So, and the homework must be maybe 30 minutes long. So, we have all week to increase our vocabulary. But even in one Without week, vocabulary, we learn the vocabulary. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Even when we learn the vocabulary, we know the meanings. How can we differentiate if it's an Arab word or non Arab word? Inshallah, that is, uh, as I said, that as we grow in grammar, we will learn fail, we, we will learn surf. So uh -huh. these, that is going to help that, okay? There are different patterns, you know, the beauty is uh, if I just know the word Nasara in uh, uh, in grammar, Nasara mean he helped. Now the same, these three root letter, Noon, Saad, and Ra. I can make hundreds of words out of this root letter and without opening dictionary, I would know that what does that mean? And I know since this is, uh, uh, I know this is the Arab word because Arab word is going to make all these patterns, not the other word. Uh, okay. okay. okay? So when I say Nasiru, now same root letter I'm putting in some container and now I'm saying Nasirun is the one who helped. Mm -hmm. Then I can say Mansurun. What is Mansurun? The one who is being helped. Right? Then Minsarun. Subhanallah. Mm -hmm. The thing jisse help ki gaye, The tool of helping. So you need to know, that's why we need to learn grammar. And that is going to help. So just the, knowing these three root letter, noon, saad, and ra, I guarantee you, you can make hundreds of words and you do not need to open the dictionary because you know that what container you are putting in and it is going to give you different meanings. So this will be the Arab uh, words because they are flexible. Okay, okay, I see that. I have a question, Raha. Mm -hmm. When you say non-Arab words and these all names of prophets, how are they non-Arabs? That's a good question. 
because not everyone was arab lady bismillah mus mus came in after rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam islam came in right But, yeah exactly so okay. arab was That's not in the beginning hazrat adam alaihi salam was not arab so okay hazrat adam alaihi salam i understand Hmm? but the other ones like ibrahim no, yaqub yeah. maryam was not arab was not arab palestine palestine hazrat ismail from hazrat ismail we can say that because mm-hmm. uh, they um, start uh, living in makka right and mm-hmm. from there the arabs i think arabs was were even before hazrat ismail alaihi salam as well so this is a history we need to Uh, learn about it but ibrahimu ibrahima ibrahim and even ismaila that's what yeah so ibrahim is not a arab word ismail yeah, is it's not a arab word yeah so we cannot say before because ibrahim al islam was his father so it would be from them no, and but is- hazrat ismaila al islam he married some arab lady i think yeah. right yes he did yeah. that's well they were muslims but not arabs right so we sorry they were muslims but not arabs Yes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, for Muslim, we don't have to Arab only. <laughs> <laughs> the Muslim, the reason their name is not uh, an Arab name. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So now let's move on. So Maria Ma. Now, what do you guys think about this word when you hear Maria Ma? What status and what kind of flexibility? No, sir. Hardly flexible, Maria, 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 Maria. That's partly flexible. Yeah, partly. this is partly flexible because this is the name of a lady, mm-hmm. and it could be nasab and jar. Mm-hmm. Okay, so do not say th- this is nasab only because we know partly flexible is not going to take kasra. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, and one more trick I'm going to give you: if you see a tanmin on any ism. If you see a tanmin on any ism, what do you guys gonna think about that word? Flexible. Fully flexible. Fully flexible. Fully flexible. Fully flexible. If you see a kasra on any ism, what do you guys gonna think? Fully flexible. Fully flexible. Fully flexible. Fully flexible. These two rules you need to remember. Okay. If you see a kasra. If you see a tanmin with your eyes closed, you're gonna say this is fully flexible word. Okay, now Isa, non-flexible. 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 Okay, so we uh, we can say this is Rafa, Nasab, and Jar. Don't know. Allah knows which one is there. Now, so Ali Hin, since I see the mean over here with my eyes fully. closed, I'm gonna say it is fully flexible. Fully flexible. Rasulun, fully flexible. Fully I don't flexible. even have to think about it, right? Because I see the mean. Ali Imun, yeah. fully flexible. Fully flexible. Zaidan, fully flexible. Fully flexible. Now Haruna. No, uh, non Arabic name and partly flexible. So, what is the status here? Nasab or jar? Nasab, 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 nasab and jar. That's what, what I want to hear. Okay. So, okay. nasab or jar because its jar version gonna be the same. We cannot say Haruni. Now, Kari Man. Fully flexible. Rahmatun. Fully flexible. Rafa Nasab jar. Yusufa. Partly flexible. Partly flexible. Nasab or jar. Nasab or jar. Both possibilities. Kutuban. Fully flexible. Israila. And you know Israila. This is uh, I think Hebrew name, and yeah. it is literally mean Abdullah. Ham. Uh, Ham. Like we say, Abdullah, right? Yeah. Abdullah is the uh, Favorite name of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So Israel, because il mean Allah in mm. Hebrew. Il mean Allah, and Isra is basically saying slave. So this is another version of saying Abdullah. And this we call Bani Israel. Is name of Hazrat Yaqub Al Islam. Yeah, the title of Yaqub Al Islam. Then Yahya. 
non-flexible. Non-flexible. Fully flexible. Suleimana. Okay, so alhamdulillah. Uh, so our time is Israela. 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 Israelu. Israela. Israela. Partially flexible. Partially flexible. Yeah. Okay. I'm um, just want to ask, please. Um, Jahannam is the name, proper name of a place. So it's partly flexible. So yes. what of Nar? Since it's the same. No, but Nar, we can, we, uh, Nar is fire, right? Yes. Yeah, so this is fully flexible. I think we, in quran -e Park we see that. Um, name of all the, uh, name of Jahannam, I know they are all called, uh, they are partly flexible. And they are oh. considered feminine. But now... Please, uh, Rahat, we can't hear anything. Please, everybody, mute your class. Please, everybody, mute it. We can't hear anything. Please mute yourself. Thank you. So, okay, now is can... basically fire. Okay. Oh, sure. It's not, it, it doesn't just refer to Jahannam, right? Oh, not okay. any nar, any fire. So, this is Arab word, fully flexible. Clear? Yes. Okay, now, Muhammadun. So these are the words we are going to use. Let's do it quickly because I want you to uh, be really good at uh, flexibility. So when I say Millata Ibrahima, and we know, we learned that, that uh, the translation is the mm. nation of Ibrahim. So now yes, the sir. nation belongs to Ibrahim, right? So what should yes. the status of Ibrahim? Jar. Yeah. But we cannot say Millata Ibrahimi. But we're going to say Ibrahima. Okay, never Ibrahimi. Milata Ibrahim, ma, not me. Then Muki Maswalati. Muki means the one who established, the establisher of Salah. Again, it is showing the kind of belonging, right? Possession. So, Asalati. And now you see Salah is. Uh, uh, Arab word. So, salatun, salatan, and salatin. And uh, and then we have al, right? So, this is salati. Fully flexible. Yeah. Okay, then we have ajrul anilina. Again, the reward of the workers. So, uh, that should be um, Jar status. So, Amiluna. 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 Right? It's like Muslimina. Yes. Okay. Fully flex. Yeah, this is fully flexible. So, that's why I write over here the singular one, Amilun. And then we can do it like a Muslim chart. Okay, so inshallah, this is how you are going to end. The key is available over here. So you guys can take care of it. Um, and this is your homework. Very easy. Most of them we already did in the class. Uh, and uh, this is your homework number two. And now comes over here. Basically, this is a list. Uh, we can consider, we can just... Uh, uh, kind of try to memorize and uh, in our own way because that is going to help us to know party flexible list so basically the first list is uh, the names of the ladies secondly uniquely masculine names like hamza then another uniquely name uh, the usman this pattern is also coming the uniquely name usman Afanu, Sufyanu, Marwanu, Numanu. Uh, can you guys give your mic if you are sitting in a loud place? Then we have the word Kaslanu. 
jawanu atshanu so all these kinds of words that are ending on alif noon i know you're going to say okay this is tricky and hard but inshallah if you just uh, remember one word from every category that is going to help you guys and as we go in uh, our grammar in our vocabulary that will become easy inshallah the fourth category is ahmadu anbaru akbaru asanu that is called ismu tafdil when we are saying that uh, when we are comparing two things or comparing with everyone for example if i say um, uh, like let's say that uh, sahrish is the youngest in my class so now i am comparing sahrish from the whole class right so this is uh, um a comparison right so when we do comparison for example we say allahu akbar all the time right allahu akbar we are saying allah is greater we are not saying allah is greater uh, greatest over there i i think i explained that before allahu akbar meaning allah is greater why we are not saying greatest because we are supposed to say greatest allah is the greatest but we are saying greater we are comparing allah subhanahu wa taala with something any idea when azan happens then everything everybody everything, everything, everything exists anything else anything no else. we are comparing we are comparing we are using comparative over here not superlative we are not saying allah is greatest we are saying allah is greater why the we are in greater not greatest this is a question ah that is think, greater than um, what we are doing now means, exactly yes. thank you sister aisha you remember so <laughs> we are saying when azan happen and we say allahu akbar the mozan says he is saying that allah is greater whatever you are doing right now stop leave it alone get up do your wudu and come to salah subhanallah so that's why allah is greater whatever you are doing whatever you are watching on the tv whatever you are cooking in the kitchen whatever is pending leave it alone and come to the salah no, this is the basically message nothing has a greater power yeah so akbaru so whenever we see all these pattern these are partly flexible then all the names of the color are partly flexible then non arab names william edward edward is like i think david david i think edward london no baris is like paris so all these uh, names of places they are uh, partly flexible is haqu yaqubu all these arab non arab names and then we have some broken plural like uh, we say ghani and then we when we are making it uh, plural we say agniya u agniya u right this is the plural or we say siddiq or the friend and then we say asdiqa u so this is the plural of siddiq or uh, uh, friend aqwiya u the uh, like i think uh, this is from kuwa the strongest one atibau so all these words are uh, partly flexible so i have a question wuzra let me finish uh, and then we can take question wuzra uzumala ulama right all these words that are going to end on alif mamduda that is called so we are learning two kind of alif alif maksura is musa musa is alif maksura but when we say ulama so this alif and we are kind of making it long right so that is called alif mamduda so alif mamduda then we have end uh, like some isam is ending on them then it is going to be partly flexible then masajidu madarisu these kinds of words I, i'm just saying it okay so inshallah i know that some of you are uh, 
kind of advance and uh, no uh, Arabic a bit and some does not know, right? So these are the list uh, for those who are kind of uh, already have an idea. And uh, if you are uh, going to be confused on this list, then leave it. Just uh, whatever summary I have given you, focus on that and the uh, homework, that's all. You don't have to go through this list if it is confusing you. Just in, we need to remember that partly flexible, they are not going to have a mean. they are not going to have kasra. That's all you need to remember. But when we have magic al, then it is going to be fully flexible. And flexibility is only related to ending sound or the plural, the irregular plural, I should say, or broken plural. And some broken plurals are partly flexible and some are fully flexible. Yes, this is really important to know. We are not gonna consider that, okay, all uh, broken plural are going to be uh, uh, partly flexible. No, this is not the case. Even uh, some broken plural, they can be uh, fully flexible. For example, we say kitabun. We never say kitabu. Kitabun or uh, kalamun. When we make it plural, akalamun. So it is taking the mean. So that means this is, uh, even though it is broken plural, but it is fully flexible. But masaji do, we saw already this example. This is uh, uh, go in the category of uh, non-flexible. I know this uh, exercise, this flexibility is kind of tricky, but inshallah, when you will listen to the recording again, uh, it will make sense, believe me. So inshallah, uh, do you guys want me to do this uh, uh, number three over here? Uh, the list that we went through, and uh, even though this is homework, but inshallah, it will uh, uh, make you guys more firm on your learning then. So let's quickly, we can do it. But do you guys think about Muhammadun? How, but uh, we are going to give uh, Dhamma. So Dhamma. We, are, we are going to consider the Full. Dhamma version. So Muhammad. Fully flexible. Flex. Yeah, so Muhammadun. Okay. Khali. Khalidun. Khalidun. Yeah. Khalidun. No, Khalidun is Khalidun. Uh, Arab word. Oh, Arab word, yeah. Mariam. Partly flexible. Fatima. Tun. Tun. Abba. Abba Sun. Abba Sun. Abba Sun. Fully flexible. Hamza. Hamza. Masaji, Masaji do, Masaji do, Kita, Sorukutu, Utubun, Akla, 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 Manadi, Manadi Lu, Manadi Lu, Manadi, Buyu, Yutun, Buyu Tun, Zumala, Zumala, London, 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 Ibrahim, Mo, Makkah, Makkatun, 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 Bagda, Bagda, name of a place, right? Jami, 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 Lun, Tabi, Tabi, Lun, Tabi, Lun, Akba, Akba, Akbaru, 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 okay. Mujtahi, 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 Dun, Tabi, 
कबीलून कसला दिस इज फुली फ्लेक्सिबल फुका रो इस्माइलु मकाजिद Uh, yeah so makatibu makatibu it should be makatibu paribun paribun usamatu usamatu so usamatu is also we cannot say usama tun so uh, is um ammarun different is different from umar umar right yeah so ammar is uh, an arab name arab uh, yeah so is it sarah Yeah. So basically, were we just guessing? Except for a few ones that had rules, we basically were guessing, right? On these, yeah. Some had rules. Based, based on, we based on what we have learned, we are just uh, doing it. So yeah, the one yeah, we have learned before. Okay. Yeah, I put a key over here, and everything is over here. So you guys can check with the key. Okay. Okay. So Alhamdulillah, with that, and uh, the rest is uh, some extra uh, practice. so you guys are going to take care of it if you want really interested uh to be strong in uh, in uh, grammar right so i'm not going to have danda all the time and say okay you have to do it alhamdulillah you guys are adult and you are here for the sake of uh, your rub so that make you self motivated right so you are going to take care of uh, uh, how you need to in increase in uh, vocabulary and how you are going to take care of all this grammar so listen to the recording again i know that was kind of a very heavy lesson uh, but uh, this is how it should be so now alhamdulillah when we are moving on the things going to be more complicated so we need to make sure that uh, we are all good in our previous lessons and uh, we got them 100% and based on that inshallah you will keep getting uh, our every ne next lesson inshallah so with that we finish our session barakallahu li wa lakum fil quranil hakim wa nafa'ni wa iyyakum bi ayati wa zikril hakim subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta wa nastaghfiruka wa nastaghfiruka wa nastaghfiruka وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين